Hello everybody, it's Robin here. Thank you for joining for your daily tarot card reading today. This is my channel, Aries Fire Tarot. So the reading is going to be for Tuesday, May 10th, and I will be using the Starman Tarot card deck. Uh, I'll just give a little bit of a intro to the deck if you haven't seen it before. This deck was uh, inspired by David Bowie and he collaborated on the artwork, so it's absolutely stunning. So uh, I was guided to do a little bit of a theme week, and unfortunately I don't have a moon costume, but um, I'm going to pull one card from the Moonology Oracle card deck and then continue on with the regularly scheduled deck for the day. So guys, I hope you enjoy this general reading for the collective. All right, so let me pull that um, Moonology card here. Ooh, yay. Okay, so you guys... Yesterday looked really good. Getting some answers, you were waiting for them, could have been absolutely to do with finances. And today we're seeing a new start is coming. So, um, you know, this is just really a reminder. And the advice that I'm getting in the comments I'm getting from my spirit guides is that, like, are you dreaming big enough, okay? Like, are you feeling defeated lately or just thinking, well, you know, things like that never happened to me, you know, why is destiny passing me by? Like, things just take time, okay? So, and if you're the type of person that you think that you could never win something or get offered a really good job or move to a really good neighborhood, I, I, I rarely recommend TV shows, but if you haven't seen Undercover Boss, I really want you guys to check that out because it has such really um, amazing things that happen to the staff that are in that show. So anyway, a new start is coming. So let's see what's going on here. There's a decision being made in your favor behind the scenes, okay? So the information that I'm getting from my guides is that there is some sort of unstoppable yearning from your childhood that you have never let go, but it's like you have taken this position that oh, that's just a childhood dream and it's never going to happen for me, okay? So the judgment, you have to think of like a judgment being made in a court case or, you know, some sort of judgment on the player's field or something like that. And there is something here where you really need to keep your dreams alive, okay? So I'm just picking up this card here and it says a new start is coming and I just noticed that there is a second card This is really interesting. It says it's a time to give rather than take, okay? So I think this is such good advice because we can sometimes be so concerned and wrapped up in our own sort of world where, you know, why isn't this happening for me? Um, like maybe feeling a little bit sad and, and looking back at a childhood dream or an expectation or looking at your life and going, well, that didn't quite work out how I planned it. And that's okay. So maybe you want to distract yourself and look at the other side of things and how blessed you are, okay? Uh, while the universe really works on your manifestation and, you know, get yourself out. And I've said this before and I'll continue to say it because nothing will make you realize how blessed and lucky you are than going and helping out people that are less fortunate than you, okay? Okay. And I think this happens in every city where you kind of drive around and there's people and they're holding their little cup and they would like to collect enough change to go get a sandwich or something like that. Or if you've ever worked in a, a homeless shelter, which I have done and it's, it's shattering, but it kind of puts things into perspective a little, okay? So your new start is coming. And what I really am getting here too is that when you can be instrumental in helping other people receive a new start from the universe, that's kind of the energy that you are putting into things, okay? So really that the universe is kind of like, you want to think of like um, a push me, pull you or um, really being in balance, okay? So the energy that you're giving out is the energy that you're receiving. So 
<clears throat> maybe try and help people achieve their new start. And maybe you could do something like volunteer for big brother or big sister or go like serve on that soup kitchen line or something like that or do a clothing drive for people, you know, something really beneficial because everything is energy, okay? So it is what you give that you receive. So I really love this message here. Uh, a time to give, okay? So stop focusing on yourself so much and, and look at how you can give back to your local community. And you'll just, you'll reap the rewards in so many ways, okay? It's just immeasurable. Please let me know in the comments if you guys have ever done anything like that and what your experience was like, okay? So now we have the King of Pentacles, which is a really, really strong reminder that you create this life that you are in, okay? So stop feeling bad about it, okay? Because everything that you see is of your own creation, whether you like what you see or not, okay? So what kind of energy are you putting out there and how are you helping other people? And how can the universe reciprocate that energy, okay? So really, really interesting uh, reading for you guys. I really just want to recommend that everybody go do something in a pay it forward sense today, please. And let me know what the most kind thing that you did for somebody else today was, even if just a smile, because those are beautiful and free. Okay, guys, I'll see you later. Take care. Bye.